Welcome back. We've got another Cricut Design Space tutorial for you. We've got a nice sweet and short one today and we're going to dive straight into it. Let's go. Hello, today we are going to have a look at how you can arrange all of your different layers in Cricut Design Space. So we have the ability to move things forwards, backwards, um, all the way to the back or all the way to the front, just like you would if you're used to working in some other programs like Photoshop, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to pop in some heart shapes so that I can illustrate this to you. So my heart shape lives here in the shapes and I'm going to pop four on so that I can show you what I'm doing. So I've got one heart here. I can use my shortcut keys to either duplicate this or you can click on duplicate here and you can simply duplicate it out, whatever is easiest for you. Now, what I want to do is to change the colors on these so that it's easier for us to see what we're doing. So I'm just very quickly going to choose some random colors um, just so that they're more easy to notice what's happening with our different bits and pieces. So if you've got the book, we're looking at page 35 today and we're focusing on arranging our bits and our pieces. Okay, there we go. So now we've got different elements. Now, if we don't want to have these in a row and we want to make a little cluster and collection of hearts like this, right? And maybe that's not that pretty, but that's not the point. We're just trying to illustrate something else here, right? So here we've got our collection of hearts. Now, what we want to do is maybe we don't want that black heart to be quite that visible and therefore we want to move it all the way to the back. So to do that, I need to click on the black heart and you can do that either by clicking straight onto it or by clicking here on the right hand side on the black picture. And I'm going to go up to arrange in your edit bar up at the top and I'm going to click on that. And here I can choose to send the elements around. So I can send this all the way to the back or just backwards by one spot, move it forwards all the way, uh, forwards by one spot, sorry, or all the way to the front. So I can click on send to back and now it's moved all the way to the back of my pieces. You will also have noticed that it's moved over here. So let me undo that and see how it's now in position two. But when I move it all the way to the back, it drops to the bottom. So you can actually move your pieces the same way by clicking on it here in the layers panel and click and hold and drag and I can drop it into place down there as well. So they do the same thing. It depends on you which one you find to be the easiest. So if I was to, right? I now have a green here. Let me just do this. I have a green heart. I don't want the green heart in front. I'm not a fan of the green. I think I want the pink heart in front. Then I can move this back by just one single spot by clicking on move backwards. And it's just going to go back one spot, right? If I want it all the way in the back, I'm going to click on arrange and I'm going to send it to back and it's going to go all the way to the back. So now it's behind the black. It's behind all of my pieces. And you can do exactly the same thing by getting back to the front. So we can go send to front and it's going to go all the way to the front. Or I can just send it to the front one at a time. If I click on the purple one and I want to bring it just in front of the pink, I can click on move it forwards. And now we have moved forwards a bit. So you've also got in your Cricut Design Space book a cheat sheet for shortcut keys. If you love working with shortcut keys, you can use that in order to move your bits and your pieces forwards and backwards as well. So you've got three different ways of doing it. We can either do it with the um, arrange up at the top or we can click and drag or we have shortcuts as well. So I hope that was helpful. It's um, very beneficial, especially when you're trying to create shadows. So if, for example, I wanted to create a shadow with my black, but let's say it was in front, right? But I actually want it to be in the back. I can position it there. I can move my green heart to the front and I can just make it slightly smaller. And now I can have a heart that's got a bit of a shadow on it if that's what I wanted to do. 
All right. So I hope that helps and I will see you with a new tutorial again. Until then, bye for now.